All right, wide receivers. This guy named Will Fuller. 14 for 217 and 3 on 16 targets. He left two extra touchdowns on the field when he was tackled at the one-yard line. On drives, he did not get that touchdown. He literally could have had five touchdowns here. And, Andy, kudos on the start of the week. Why, thank you. I, <laughs> it kind of worked out. The best <laughs> wide receiver fantasy por uh, performance in half-point scoring in 15 years. He went from th – this is kind of why at the end of the year we kind of look at week to week. This yeah. is why we have consistency charts on our website for our jointhefoot.com supporters is so you can go see these weeks. He jumped from the wide receiver 66 on the season to the wide receiver 8 in one game. Nice. Nicely done, Will. Beautiful. The William. Air, yeah, the air yards were coming his way already. Yep. There were a couple of players out there where you see a massive amount of air yards that hasn't been getting it done. That's a great way to target what, you know, look, if those connections happen, you have a big week, they happen this week, great play. Uh. For what it's worth, DeAndre Hopkins was 7 for 88 on eight targets in this game. His target pace in 2019 is 140, which would be his lowest since 20 uh, – yeah, I mean, basically 2015 he was up at 192, 151, 174, 163. I'm still not worried about him. Well, 7 for 88 is – But we'll is, talk about it. 7, 7 for 88, 88 is, is fine. It's a fine game. I mean, you're hope, you would hope that he had the touchdown in there. You just feel bad because Will Fuller yes. went off. And so, in comparison, you're like, what, what, Hopkins, 7 for 88? Yeah. If the, if what the, a bum. If the Texans <laughs> score over 50 points and Deshaun Watson throws five touchdowns and you don't get 100 yeah. or a yeah. touchdown, you're, you're not happy. All right. Stud Muffins at the wide receiver position. Amari Cooper, a monster. Michael Thomas, DJ Chark, Adam Thielen, big bounce back game. Godwin did it again, 7 for 125 and 2 on 9 targets. He is the number one wide receiver on the year. Bounce back game for Tyler Boyd. Mike started the week, Allen Robinson, 7 for 97 and 2. Michael Gallup, 7 for 113 and 1 in his first game back. That's a great game from Gallup, and it just reflects what we saw in the preseason to start the year. Uh, those names I mentioned, who do you want to talk about? DJ Chark, 8 yes. for 164 and 2 on 11 targets. That's is he who, a wide receiver one? That's who I want to talk about. He, I, I don't see him as a wide receiver one the rest of the way, but I see him as a weekly must start. I mean, right now, he's the wide receiver five on the season. Uh, he's not going to score, you know, what he's he's got more than a touchdown every week so far, so he's not going to end up with 18, 19 touchdowns, but he is the clear best friend of Gardner Minshew, and he's super talented. I mean, he's he's 6'3", runs a 4'3", 4, 4, and is – you know, his routes, his hands. He had that that sideline reception this week where it was incredibly difficult, and they called it incomplete. But then they go back and watch the tape, and it's like, how did he... It had to be incomplete because it it's to. impossible. But it was like, you know, he got both feet down, made a football move. That was an inch away from being an, a, another touchdown. He reminds me of A.J. Green more than anybody else. Size, sure. the length, the, the, the skills he's showing out there on the field. Like, that's the comp to me. And Not that he he's that yet, but he's that's the trajectory. Well, yeah, it's I mean it's you can't just get elevated to the status of AJ Green Green after five weeks. No, but after five weeks, he you have to start him every week. You don't look at a matchup and go, well, I'm going to put Chark on the bench. This this is what's happening. DJ Chark is to I me, mean, and I'm not going to say he's a wide receiver one because some of these other guys like Hopkins and Mike Evans are underperforming. I think he's a top 20 wide receiver. But, yes, I, I would put him at a high-end wide receiver too. And last week was the only week he didn't score, and he had a touchdown called back in that game. Thielen, 7 for 130 and 2, as Jason said. The squeaky wheel got the oil in mm. this one. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would classify Stephon Diggs as not a squeaky wheel as much as a – well, that wheel had just fallen off. Yeah, he just he got fined some big money. Too. Yes, big became money. a tricycle. <laughs> yeah, so we'll talk about some duds later. But uh, Michael Gallup, great game. Julian Edelman scored. That was great to see. And then Juju, 7 for 75 and a touchdown, 7 targets, and another devastating fumble. But 7 for 75 and 1 is better than not Yeah, he had a great performing. week. <laughs> you, you have to assume based on the vicious nature of the hit on Mason Rudolph that you're going to now be 
to the third string quarterback. Something it's, it's Hodges. <laughs> Devlin. Thank you, Mike. Devlin Hodges. Devlin Hodges. He uh, will start week six against the Chargers. And so it's it, Chris you know, Mortensen's already reporting that. Really, really tough to to trust Juju at this point with a third string quarterback. Oh, hey. I was just doing some trades. Got some good players here. Uh why don't you click subscribe and I'll share my secrets. <laughs>